this is uh, a hunger vridham. It is my prayer uh, so that we get justice. We want human rights. We have been denied human rights for far too long. And uh, we have done all possible. Uh, we have failed in all our attempts. So what we are doing now is urging both the government and the government in waiting to endorse the blueprint. We see the uh, uh, blueprint beyond politics. It is all about human rights. It is all about our lost dignity. From the time of independence, we do not have dignity. We have been treated unequally, uh, denied our basic right, oppress, suppress and marginalize. It is time for this nonsense to stop. Uh, and so this Viradham is uh, my prayer on behalf of Indra for justice. I'll be taking water throughout my period of fasting. And uh, that's all. I'll take pure water. How long will this last? You'll see. Apart from exerting pressure, we have put enough pressure on the government uh, by organizing demonstrations, by giving memorandums, by making appeals. We have exhausted everything. What else do we need to do? to get our rights. Is it, is it wrong to ask for rights? Is it wrong uh, to, 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 to seek for dignity? Why can't they understand? The politicians from both divide in this country do not understand that we need human rights. They don't look at us as humans. They see us as subhumans. That's why they can go to the extent of saying that we are racist in making those demands. How far do you think that this will give pressure to them? This understanding will give pressure to them for the for the rights. I'm not here to pressure anyone. Uh, I don't intend to pressure anyone. All I'm doing is I'm doing what I think I could do. We want them to see that this is what we need. We need pure human rights. What is the immediate uh, action that you hope to see from either ruling party or the opposition? Um, we hope they would endorse our blueprint. They would give firm commitment to uh, take us away from our 57-year-old predicament and we hope um, they will do the right thing. Since 2007 until now, uh, the, the perception of the people has changed. Uh, some people are still followers of Hindra, supporters of Hindra, and some people doesn't understand what is actually happening within Hindra. And for them, what would you like to say? It, it is, it is uh, normal in a cause, in a people's movement like this, uh, for people to get confused because we are a grassroots movement. We do not have funds. Uh, we do not control the media. We do not have the avenue to pass information to the grassroots. Our core supporters are the grassroots. So naturally, they are bound to be some misinformation easily spread to them to confuse uh, by interested parties. When I say inter interested parties, I mean politicians from both divide tend to uh, confuse and mislead the people. Yeah, those are things that are bound to happen. But uh, our um, uh, volunteers, who are mainly from the grassroots, are doing their level best 
to explain to the people our true cause and uh, i believe a large number of people especially those from the grassroots understand what we are doing what is your comment on the remarks that indra is racist and mainly fighting for the for the hindu there are ample provisions in the united nations conventions which gives rights to every ethnic group to raise concerns on issues of human rights affecting their community but the malaysians are ignorant <coughs> of those provisions they live in denial they live in their own world i agree we should move away from uh, being racial in our approach but we have to ask an honest question is malaysia is malaysia truly ready for it if it is the first thing first and foremost that politicians should do is to uh, make attempts to remove all racist provisions in the federal constitution if they have the courage to do that then no community will be discriminated today we are discriminated and the discrimination affecting the indian community are unique and peculiar to the indian community we you wouldn't have heard of 800000 people being displaced from any other community they say they are also stateless malays and chinese but where are they you only see the indians demonstrating large numbers the indians are the most affected we believe up to 350000 i'm not saying there are no chinese and malays there could be but it is rampant and prevalent among the indian community similarly when they were displaced from their states it was the indian temples that were demolished it was the tamil schools that was demolished it was the hindu crematoriums that was demolished it was our community which was made displaced and it's not a small number 800000 is a huge number it's a gross violation of human rights affecting a particular community it is a national problem so those who claim to champion multiracial issues should have spoken these gross violations of human rights long time ago indraf uh, was created because every politician neglected us neglected our rights refused to speak for us they are in parliament but they never represented us they got our votes for free but never spoke for us so they fail in their duties so that's what we are doing we are here because they have failed their duties so in the next general election what is your standing who we should support i'm unable to say at the moment um, talks are still going on and we'll see how far they will um, uh, meet what is required from us